I'm Eric Dawson, manager of the McClung Historical Collection at the Knox County Public Library. We're here at the East Tennessee History Center uh, where our current exhibit, Lights, Camera, East Tennessee is up, uh, exploring the role of filmmaking in East Tennessee, uh, including actors and filmmakers and directors such as Clarence Brown. And we're going to be celebrating Clarence Brown's legacy uh, next week beginning August 16th, running through August 20th, by showing several of his films, having lectures and panels and talks about him, and a lot of other fun things too. Uh, we're going to kick off on August 16th with a walking tour of Happy Holler, which is actually where Clarence Brown grew up. His father worked at Brookside Mills. So we're going to go over there about 5.30 at Central Flats and Taps, toast the great man, and then uh, have a, a walking tour. Then on, uh, so on Thursday, we're back in Happy Holler at Central Cinema. Uh, six o'clock, the Knoxville History Project and Jack Neal are going to have a Zoom. It's going to be a live Zoom from Central Cinema uh, discussing Clarence Brown and his time in Knoxville. Following that, around 7.15, we'll watch the silent film Smoldering Fires with uh, Will Wright will be doing an original live score with that one. And then on uh, Thursday and Friday, we're going to be in the East Tennessee History Center at noon to do talks on Clarence Brown. This is going to be lectures so you can learn more about his films and the context in which they're in. 4 p.m. on Friday, we're going to be over at Hodges Library at UT campus for Gwenda Young, who wrote Clarence Brown's biography. She's coming all the way from Cork, Ireland to be with us and discuss Clarence Brown and his legacy and his relationship to Knoxville. Then that evening, uh, we'll just walk over to the Clarence Brown Theater where we'll be screening National Velvet Outdoors. So it's going to be an outdoor screening outside Clarence Brown Theater. Uh, the, you know, maybe his most famous movie starring Elizabeth Taylor gave her her big break when she was 12 years old. Saturday is our big day. First of all, we got the History Hootenanny going on here at the East Tennessee History Center. And the theme this year is film, which is uh, a great news for us because we have this exhibit up and the Clarence Brown films, which we'll be showing across the street at the Tennessee Theater. So all day at the Tennessee Theater starting at noon, we've got the yearling. And then around three o'clock, we're going to be showing Anna Karenina. And the big real feature thing this year is The Signal Tower, which is a 1924 silent film that has only recently been restored just a few years ago. This film was kind of lost or just not in a, a good state to be shown. So we're about the fourth place that's going to show this film. And it's going to have a live score by Roger Miller, who is in a group, Anvil Orchestra. Um, they're probably the premier world uh, live film scores for silent films. So we're lucky to have him here. And he's actually going to be performing at the Pilot Light on Sunday night, solo, doing some of his songs from his band Mission of Burma and his solo career. And then we're going to wrap everything up on Sunday with two screenings at Tennessee Theater. We're going to have um, Intruder in the Dust starting around 1 o'clock. And then at 5 o'clock, we're going to be showing the silent film The Eagle with Ron Carter playing the mighty Wurlitzer organ to accompany it. So we're going to have a lot of guests, uh, as I mentioned, Gwenda Young is coming in from Ireland. Uh, Claude Jarman, who's in two of the films as a child actor, will be here. Uh, people from UT such as uh, Chuck Malin and Paul Harrell will be introducing. Uh, Bob Booker is going to be introducing a film for us. And if you want to find out the exact schedule and everything that's going on, you can go to the Knox County Public Library's website. And right there on the front page, the big splash page, uh, there's a link to the Clarence Brown Film Festival information.